let's take a look now on the long-term crop things like uh, cucumber tomatoes and uh, bell peppers grow channels and these uh, grow channels are basically made out of uh, gray food grade PVC uh, and um, I just glued them up so that way the flat area in the, in, the, in the middle of it slopes down towards the middle and the other side slopes down as well towards the middle to the drain pump and just like on the strawberry plants we have two pieces of uh, PVC that's glued in with a gap on all sides so that way when the rock wool slab sit on top there's enough space on the sides and in the middle since now this is for two rock wool slabs, six inch rock wool slabs so that way uh, there's enough area for the drain to flow, for the drainage to flow towards the center and uh, since I'm in the basement, you know, these sit on the floor of the basement and the water needs to be pumped up because I didn't want it to have uh, you know, hoses and things running across the floor for people to trip on so I just have a sump pump set up or, or actually it's not a sump pump, this is a condensate pump from an air conditioner that I've modified the, you know, put in a new bottom so that way I can uh, have a drain from both sides instead of from the top like in the normal condensate pump and uh, you know once the basin fills up it triggers a flow valve and sends the the drainage or the runoff solution back into the reservoir for recirculation and um, you know these emitters are basically just two sections of uh, half inch PVC with little quarter inch quick connects quick you know push fittings and uh, two uh, two gallons per hour uh, pressure compensated dripper with a little drip stake on the end and that just goes right into the rockwell cubes that sit on top of the rockwell slabs to uh, drip directly in and then I have two drippers per each plant so this way same deal you know in case one clogs there's still one left to still provide the you know the, the water that's necessary to keep the plant alive alright so let's see how it looks on uh, just the, the modified basin and basically what I've done is I cut holes on each side so that way from these gutters you know have a little uh, 90 degree fitting that I cut in half so that way there would be enough space to fit the pump and um, that's basically how they uh, they drain into there and then just pumps it up now as far as the rock wool cubes or excuse me blocks or slabs uh, these gutters are 8 inches, excuse me, 12 inches wide, so they fit two 6 inch wide, 3 inch high rock wool slabs. And as you can see, those holes on either side are the little, the, the two guys elevate the cubes so that way there's a space in the center and on the sides for the drainage to go down. And then they just have a 4 inch block that sits on top with a coal hole cut off cut out here so that way you, you know the plant when you put your stake in here it just drips through the block into the slab and then drains out the bottom now these pressure compensated emitters um, require a higher pressure than what our regular aquarium pumps that are used to circulate the NFT solution are able to deliver so just for the to make you know for those drippers I have a uh, separate pump that's able to boost the pressure to about 50 psi and it's a small pump it only delivers like one and a half two gallons per minute and actually that's even too much because those those drippers are only two gallons per hour so I have to actually divert some of the flow back into the the nutrient tank so that way it doesn't overload the pump and in line with the pump there is a little sediment filter that catches all the large particles so that way they don't plug the filters then after the filter it goes to this electric valve that turns on at the same time as the pump and the pressure regulator here drops the PSI, PSI down to 20 so that way with the emitters don't get blown out of the tubes due to excessive pressure and uh, that's pretty much it as far as the the drip irrigation of the rock wool slabs for tomatoes and cucumbers thanks for watching